Today we are going to learn about fibers. The fibers of connective tissues they provide support. So we know that the fibers of connective tissues fibers of connective tissues they provide support. These types of fibers are found in connective tissue matrix collagen elastic and reticular fibers these types of fibers are found in connective tissue matrix like we say collagen c o l l a g e n elastic e l a s t i c and reticular fibers r e t i c u l a r reticular fibers of these collagen fibers are by far the strongest and most abundant so which is the strongest fiber collagen which is the most abundant fiber collagen the strongest and the most abundant fibers they are constructed primarily of the fibrous proteins collagen so collagen fibers they are made up of let's learn about collagen fibers they are primarily of made of a protein which is called collagen collagen molecules are secreted into the extracellular space where they assemble spontaneously into cross linked fibrils which in turn are bundled together into the thick collagen fibers seen with the microscope so here we know that they are bundled together they are bundled together and they are consisting of cross linked cross linked fibrils because of the cross linking of their fibrils collagen fibers are extremely tough and this makes them extremely tough that means they have high tensile strength you can hold it you can hold heavy things high tensile strength what is high tensile strength it is the ability to resist longitudinal stress what is high tensile strength ability to resist longitudinal stress indeed stress test so that collagen fibers are stronger than steel fibers of the same size when fresh they have a glistening white appearance they are therefore also called white fibers so they are white they have white appearance and we also know that they are stronger than steel and they have white appearance when they are fresh so this was about collagen fiber okay the next one is elastic let's learn about elastic fiber elastic fibers they are long they are thin fibers and they form branching networks they form branching networks in the extracellular matrix these fibers contain a rubber like protein so what are they made up of they are made up of a rubber like protein which is also called the elastin remember this 
So the elastic fibers are made up of a rubber-like protein which is called elastin. So you know the properties of the rubber. It has the property to stretch. So what the elastic fibers they have the property? They have the property to stretch that is S S T R E T C S. they have the property to stretch and they have the properties to recoil. They can recoil like a rubber, like rubber bands. So the connective tissue can stretch only so much before it's thick. Rope-like collagen fibers becomes taut, becomes taut. Then when the tension lets up, elastic fibers snap the connective tissue back to its normal length and shape. So what is the help of elastic fibers? They bring it back to the normal length and shape. Elastic fibers are found where greater elasticity is needed and you know where it is needed. There, so they are found where greater elasticity is needed. That is they are found in the skin, they are found in the lungs and they are found in blood vessels and they are found in blood vessels. Because fresh elastic fibers appear yellow they appear yellow they are sometimes called yellow fibers yellow fibers the fresh ones they appear yellow so they are called yellow fibers so let's revise fibers they help for the support they are of three kinds the collagen elastic and reticular fibers the collagen fibers they they have consist of protein which is called collagen they are bundled together and cross linked with the help of cross linked fibrils so they have the property of they are extremely tough and they have a high tensile strength now the appearance is white because the fresh one they look like white and remember that they are stronger than steel elastic fibers they are long they are thin fibers they are long fibers they form like a branching networks the, and the protein is the elastin which is a rubber like protein they have the property to stretch they have the properties to recoil that is come it comes back to their normal length and shape and they are found where the elasticity is needed that is they are found in the skin lungs blood vessels they are found in the skin lungs and the blood vessels they are yellow in color when they are fresh they look like yellow so they are yellow in color and the third type is let's do a little bit of this we we learned about the fiber support we their fibers they help in support there are three types collagen elastic and reticular fibers we learned about elastic fibers we learned about collagen fibers and the third kind is reticular fibers so let's learn about that reticular fibers now they are short they are fine they are collagenous fibers collagenous fibers with a slightly different chemistry and form so it differs from the collagen fibers and the elastic fibers they have they formed with a slightly different chemistry and are continuous with collagen fibers they are continuous means they continue they they form a long one continuous they branch extensively more than the elastic fibers they branch branch extensively So they form delicate network because they are thin. So they are delicate. They can break delicate networks. And you should know they got the name from delicate. That is reticulate, reticule, R E T I C U L, reticule. Reticule means networks. 
So that's why we call them reticulate, reticular fiber that surround small blood vessels and support the soft tissue of organs. So what is their functions? They surround, they surround small blood vessels. They surround small blood vessels and they support the soft tissue of organs. Support the soft tissues soft tissue of organs. They are particularly abundant means they are in large quantity where connective tissues abuts other tissue types. For example, in the basement membrane of epithelial tissues, like below the epithelial tissue, you find reticular fibers. And they are also found around capillaries, where they form fuzzy nets that allow more give than the larger collagen fibers. So they form fuzzy nets. Fuzzy nets. They form fuzzy nets around the capillaries. So they are found around the capillaries. So now we know three types collagen fiber, elastic fibers and reticular fibers. Collagen fibers are made up of proteins which is named collagen. They are bundled together. They are cross-linked fibrils which are bundled together. It gives high tensile strength. They are white in appearance, they are extremely tough, they are stronger than the steel. The next one is the elastic fiber, they are long, thin fibers, they have, they form branching networks. Again the protein is the elastin, they are made up of elastin. They, because of elasticity, they help in stretching and recoiling back. So, they bring back to the normal length and shape. They are found in skin, lungs, blood vessels. They are yellow in color and obviously the fresh one they look yellow and collagen fibers they look white. The next is reticular fibers which is the third one. They are short, fine. They are made up of collagenous fibers. They are also called collagenous fibers. They are continuous. They branch extensively. They are delicate networks. They get their name from reticule, that means network. They surround small blood vessels. They support the soft tissue of organs. They form fuzzy nets around the capillaries. So I hope everyone understands the three types of fibers.